Ugh, thanks to the time-based insight system, we managed to get back to the time of Noah's Ark. I knew this would be possible using time-jumping simulation of situations, including the theorem belt on the quantum dialect process dual 93 system, which was a holistic reality compressor used to deploy efficient space into a wheel of compression of relative time over a jump belt. Of course, most people don't understand that, that's alright, that's fine. Everyone is allowed their ignorance. This is why I don't always believe ignorance of the law is no excuse, because how do you expect a baby to know the laws of Leviticus? Hmm? You can't, you can't expect a baby to know the laws of Leviticus. It's just unreal. It's just unacceptable, and it's not allowed, and therefore it will not be continued. Thus, we press on. Here you see Noah and his ark, right, compressing into their chamber in God knows BC, right? So we have to think about the animals. Now the first problem we have, given that it was apparently a wooden boat made from gopher wood, allegedly, according to the scriptures, of certain dimensions I can't remember now, it was a long time ago since I read the particular dimensions, but it was sizable. And I've been to a church built on those dimensions of that glorious art, precisely, apparently, and the first thing I thought when I walked into that church in Brighton was that no way could this house two elephants and all the insects in the world in their chamber pots. Not that he had chain pots, because they didn't have Pyrex back in those days. So how are the insects stored and protected? I don't think the insects even made it. No, I think the fish swam among the sea, and the birds flew among the sky. But the polar bears, and the iguanas, and the kangaroos, uh, and, the, and the Serengeti elks, and the yaks! Oh, dear God. Noah had a harsh, harsh mission upon him that day. But to look upon it, theoretically, with wisdom after the event, is to miss the point. You see, why it's doubtful that Noah had two penguins on the ark is nonetheless analysed by ancient sources which qualify in alternate data there was some kind of mad flood, the Epic of Gilgamesh you may well have heard of if you're wise and educated. However, there has also been a scientific test in the Mediterranean and I've seen it in documentary evidence taking sedimentary deposits of the sand and the granular structure of the earth under quite a sustainable depth. And once you put it out, there was certainly a field bucket in the granular density that suggested some alternate climate system during a particular era. That's all I'm saying. And that the flood could well have been, in part, an extrapolated reality. Now, I don't know about the elephants, and I don't know about the tigers or the bears, but I do love Tibetan terriers. And it is with great thanks that I remember the love of Noah. Because he was the only righteous man back then. And if you remember, well, if you remember Jesus, he comes back, or he arrives, and he says in around 27 AD, that in the days of Noah, they should be up to no good, right? And it was like, like in the days of Noah. And he's talking about the future back then, right? So like in the days of Noah. Wow. Well, what happened in the days of Noah? If you can sell the scriptures, they were bumming each other and being hostile and sodomites and grim and full of vanity and shit. Like, they horrible, right? So Noah, being a righteous citizen of the Holy Spirit of the Divine Lord, heard the word upon his mission to build a boat through some premonition and attempted to save the wildlife. He got in a few cockroaches and beavers and what have you. Possibly a little puppy. And, um, and therein he did his best to save the creation of God in its wholesome uniqueness. But no, God does not tolerate sin. So why do you keep doing it? Why do you keep fighting? For a death by our cause, I find you all imbeciles, morons, hideous, frankly disgusting specimens of the damned. I have no wish to desire to know any of you. And should you all liquefy into a molten hellhole, well then what do you, well, who do you, well, who do you blame? Who, 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 who are you going to blame? You were told what would happen. And here we are. Hmm? Silly, isn't it, really? So the point is, Noah did what he thought was right, as God intended to tell him to do. And as I was told to do in 1995 by a higher power force voice from a godlike realm of divinity. Continue. So I have continued. And I'm now 47. And I'm doing alright. With time jumping on a baseline process reality of Theorem X applied to the Y curve over the infinite units of an increment of space time curvature awareness. Using quantum field vectors. Alright? So next time you're sort of chuffing and puffing on your own shenanigans and whatnot. Just remember, dulcet delivery wins the game, for it makes sense when delivered succinctly. And that's all you gotta do. It's like David Attenborough bollocks.